Hey guys, in my last video I showed you how I built an enclosure for my DRO. This is the fourth and last video of my DRO project. In this video I will show you how I connected my Arduinos, LCD displays, and reset buttons together. I will also show you how to upload my sketch to an Arduino board. The encoder I used in this project is a photoelectric encoder. When the encoder shaft rotates, thin lines etched on a clear disc rotates, breaking a beam of light. Photo sensors turn on and off, creating a high and low voltage pulses in the encoder's output. One complete revolution produces 600 output pulses. My encoder has four insulated wires and a bare braided wire shield. I carefully stripped the encoder's cable sheath back using a utility knife. This allowed my wires to reach all four of my terminal locations on the Arduino screw shield. After stripping the sheath, I added a new heat shrink to my cable. I connected the red and black voltage supply wires to each of my Arduino screw shields. The red wires to terminal 5V, the black wires to terminal ground, the green encoder output wires connect to terminal D2 and the white output wires to terminal D3. There is one more wire, a bare braided wire, which can be connected to earth ground to shield the encoder from electrical magnetic interference. The LCD display also connects to the Arduino with four wires, two voltage supply wires, a wire for a clock signal, and a wire for the data signal. I used four of the jumper cables that I bought from eBay. A black jumper wire connects the LCD pin ground to the socket connected to ground on the screw shield. An orange jumper wire connects the VCC to the socket connected to 5V. A yellow wire connects the SCA data pin to socket A4 and the green wire connects the SCL pin to socket A5. My reset push button's gray wire connects the Arduino screw shield socket labeled RST. And the brown wire connects to the socket connected to ground. These buttons are optional. They can be omitted for the project. Normally, my DRO's 9 volt power supply plugs into a power bar. I turn off my DRO when I'm not using it. I can also switch the power bar off to reset the Arduinos, but I prefer to be able to reset one of the Arduinos at a time, and that is why I used reset push buttons. A red stranded wire connects the VIN terminal from one Arduino screw shield to the other, and a black stranded wire connects the ground terminals of the boards together. The purpose of these two wires is to power both boards from a single 9 volt DC power supply. It is very important that all the wires are connected correctly. Using different color wires is an easy way to stay organized and wire the boards properly. With my boards wired, I put the lid on my box. I inserted the round plug of my 9 volt power supply into one of the boards, applied power, and both LCD screens became active. I was ready to upload my sketches to the Arduinos. My sketches are derived from an encoder sketch example. My thanks to the programmer. I modified the basic encoder sketch. Modifications include changing the encoder's digital pins to 2 and 3, removing the code that displays text on the computer screen, with a code that allows us to display information on an LCD screen, creating a math formula that converts my encoder pulses to inch measurements, and also a formula for converting inches to millimeters. I designed my x-axis program to allow for the amount of material that a lathe tool will remove with each cut. It can also be zeroed at center and the diameter of the material displayed. It is the distance the tool will travel and D is the amount of material that the lathe tool will remove. If you use a different encoder or a different pulley size, you will most likely need to modify my 
WV equals math formula so that your DRO will work properly. My program can be edited to add more features or to leave features out. Please let other viewers and myself know what part of the program you improved and how you did it. I connected my laptop to my Arduino using a USB printer cable. Before uploading my Z-axis sketch to the Arduino R3 board, I needed to download a compressed Arduino software program from arduino.cc. It is a free program, but donations are appreciated. To open a compressed file, you will also need a free program such as 7-zip. I downloaded a 64-bit file for my 64-bit operating system from 7-zip.org. The Arduino R3 boards I bought are not expensive, but they are not genuine Arduino boards. R3 boards are nearly 100% compatible to the original Arduino Uno. The Arduino IDE program is designed for authentic Arduino boards. It will not recognize the R3 boards until a USB serial driver file, CH340, is installed. I downloaded the CH340 driver and installed it on my computer. Now, with my Arduino board connected and recognized by the IDE program, I was ready to upload my sketch to my board. I recommend copying and pasting my sketch into a blank Arduino IDE sketch. I will post the text for both my sketches in the description. Find the text in my description, highlight one of my sketches. To paste my sketch, open the IDE program by clicking on the Arduino icon. Click on File, New, then select Edit select all and press the delete key. Copy and paste the text into your blank IDE sketch. To upload a z-axis to your board, select sketch. Then upload or simply click on the right arrow icon. You will be asked to save your sketch before uploading. You can save it as suggested or rename it to something you will remember such as z-axis. Then save it in the location suggested or a different folder. Once the sketch is saved, it will take a minute or two to compile and upload. The first time I uploaded a sketch to my board, the LCD screen was blank. I needed to adjust the small flathead plastic screw on the back of my LCD display until the text appeared clearly on my display. Like magic, the z-axis information appeared on the screen. I repeated the process, uploaded the x-axis sketch to the second Arduino board, removed the USB cable, and shut the computer down. That is how I connected my Arduino boards, LCD, and reset push buttons. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you are inspired to build your own DRO. Thanks for watching.